This video is intended only to supplement the written installation instructions that accompanied your product, not to replace those installation instructions. The written installation instructions should be read and available to you before you attempt to install the product. If you have any questions about the instructions in this video or are not comfortable performing the installation demonstrated, contact manufacturer's customer service. When installing the dishwasher, be aware that the electrical supply for the appliance must be 120 volts at 60 hertz. A dedicated circuit is recommended. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Disconnect electrical power at the fuse box or circuit breaker box before installing dishwasher. Failure to do so can result in death or electrical shock. In addition to shutting off the electrical supply, you should also confirm that the water supply valve is fully closed. Refer to the installation manual for a list of recommended tools and parts you may need. If you're replacing an existing dishwasher, confirm that the water and power supply connections are accessible and in the proper locations as illustrated in the installation manual. For wood countertops, we recommend applying moisture barrier tape to the underside of the countertop along the front edge of the counter. If this is a new installation, you will need to drill access holes in the cabinet for the electrical wiring, water supply line, and drain hose. Refer to the manual for hole size and location. Using copper wiring only, the power supply line can be direct wired, or you can power the appliance through a UL listed power cord. If installing with direct wire, route the power supply cable through the cabinet hole so the cable extends through the right side of the cabinet opening. Tape the cable to the floor to hold it in place when you position the dishwasher. Warning! Tip over hazard. Do not use dishwasher until completely installed. Do not push down on open door. Doing so can result in serious injury or cuts. Warning! Excessive weight hazard. Use two or more people to move and install dishwasher. Failure to do so can result in back or other injury. Tip the dishwasher back so it rests on its rear panel. You can set the appliance on a blanket or a large piece of cardboard to prevent floor damage. Using a flathead screwdriver, rotate the lower access panel fasteners counterclockwise a quarter turn to detach. Remove the access panel and the attached insulation. Next, measure the height of the cabinet opening from the underside of the countertop to the floor. Use the height chart in the manual to determine the proper leg settings. If the cabinet opening height is less than 34 inches, you can remove the rear legs and spacers if applicable for additional clearance. Next, connect a 90-degree elbow fitting to the water supply line. With the rubber washer properly seated in the fitting, thread the fitting onto the dishwasher's water inlet valve until the coupling is secure. Avoid over-tightening. Slide the small retaining clamp onto the small end of the drain hose then push the hose into the rubber drain hose connector. Secure by sliding the retaining clamp onto the connector between the stops. If the dishwasher is to be powered through a power cord, you will now need to install or transfer the cord. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Electrically ground dishwasher. Connect ground wire to green ground connector in terminal box. Do not use an extension cord. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. Use a quarter inch hex head nut driver or a T20 Torx bit to unthread the screw securing the terminal box cover. Remove the cover and install a UL listed metallic strain relief. 
Make sure the strain relief screws are facing to the left and keep the screws loose. Now route the power cord through the strain relief. Secure the green grounding wire with the screw. Join the black wires together and secure them using an approved wire nut. Repeat this to secure the white wires. Be aware, a maximum of two wire connectors plus the one grounding connector are permitted in the terminal box. Tighten the strain relief screws to secure the cord. With the wires positioned inside the terminal box, realign the cover and rethread the screw to secure. Making sure the power cord does not come in contact with the motor or the lower portion of the tub, route the cord out the rear of the appliance, but don't plug it in at this time. Return the dishwasher to its upright position. Route the water line, drain hose, and power cord, if applicable, through the holes in the cabinet. To prevent the insulation blanket from bunching up in the cabinet, make sure the blanket is secured at both the left and right rear corners. If the rear legs were removed, place cardboard under the appliance to protect the floor and gently slide the dishwasher part way into the cabinet. Remove the cardboard if applicable. The mounting brackets can be used to secure the top of the dishwasher to the countertop or the sides of the appliance to the cabinet. If top mounting, Position the brackets in the slots at the top of the dishwasher frame. Then bend the tabs to lock the brackets in place. When side mounting, use pliers to break off the end of the bracket at the appropriate score line for a plastic tub. Insert the modified brackets into the side slots then bend the tabs to hold the brackets in place. Now fully position the appliance in the cabinet. Adjust the legs as necessary to level the dishwasher and confirm that the appliance is evenly positioned in the cabinet. If the gap between the top of the door and the underside of the countertop is less than a quarter inch, or the countertop is marble, granite, or another hard surface, we recommend side mounting the dishwasher. When doing this, be sure to drill pilot holes for the mounting screws to avoid splitting the cabinet wood. The hole in the bracket can be used as a template for the pilot hole. Thread the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. If top mounting, confirm that the top of the door does not come in contact with the bracket screws. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Electrically ground dishwasher. Connect ground wire to green ground connector in terminal box. Do not use an extension cord. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, 
fire, or electrical shock. If the dishwasher is being powered through direct wiring, secure the power wires and grounding wire in the terminal box, as shown earlier for the power cord installation. Make sure the wiring cable is secured with the strain relief. The water supply line should be connected to the home's hot water supply line in compliance with local codes and ordinances. The drain hose can be attached to a garbage disposer or a drain pipe. If the disposer has not been used in conjunction with the dishwasher before, you will need to knock out the drain tube plug using a screwdriver and hammer. You can use needle nose pliers to remove the plug after knocking it through. Slide the large retaining clamp onto the drain hose and attach the hose to the disposer or the drain pipe if applicable. The drain hose should be looped above the connection point. The connection point itself should be at least 20 inches from the kitchen floor. If the connection point is lower than 20 inches, or when required by code, an air gap must be used to prevent the drain water from siphoning back to the dishwasher. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Plug into a grounded three-prong outlet. Do not remove ground prong. Do not use an adapter. Do not use an extension cord. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. If applicable, plug the power cord into the outlet, turn on the power, and open the water supply valve. With the lower access panel off, run the dishwasher to confirm the appliance is filling properly and there are no leaks. Complete the installation by repositioning the access panel, making sure the attached insulation does not interfere with the float assembly and the lower edge of the panel touches the floor. Secure the panel by rotating the fasteners clockwise a quarter turn. The dishwasher should now be ready for use.